Hey guys, Ivan here, and today we get to see Nick Walker on stage in guest posing shape. But he is not competing, as you can see, he's doing a guest posing at this NPC show right here. But he is once again in contest shape, he is shredded, he is full. I'm sure he did a little peak week for this guest posing. And honestly, right here, he looks like he could have been, you know, top 3, top 4 at the Mr. Olympia if he showed up just like this, the way he looks right here. Now, I'm sure most of you are trying to pay attention to his legs and see which leg is injured. Are his legs overall downsized? But honestly, they don't look much worse than last year, than at the Arnold Classic, for example. Now, I think he made a ton of progress in his legs, and if everything went well for him, his legs would have looked much, much bigger on the Mr. Olympia stage than they did at the Arnold Classic, but since this injury happened and he wasn't able to train legs for a while, his legs did lose some size, I'm sure. But they looked like this pretty much at the Arnold Classic, so this is not a far-off look. This is actually a pretty good look. I mean, his legs are also looking very dry, very separated, Overall, his conditioning is freaking amazing. And in my previous video that I made today, I actually spoke about how he looks very dry and very hard, and I was surprised that he looked like that five weeks after the Mr. Olympia. I thought he would take some downtime, you know, some time off, but I guess he was preparing for this, for this stage right here. Even though it's not a contest, he's presenting himself on stage for the first time in like uh, eight months, so he tried hard, he tried hard to look very good on this stage, and he succeeded, he absolutely succeeded, because once again, conditioned, full, improved, especially upper body, upper body looks crazy here, he just looks insane, and conditioning is spot on, I mean, this video footage right here is not that great, I'm sure we'll get to see more uh, quality videos or photos, so we're gonna see exactly what he brought to this guest posing, but honestly, this is probably better conditioning than most guys on the Mr. Olympia stage brought, and I would say for sure, better conditioning than two out of three guys in the top three. This is better conditioning than Samson Dauda from the front for sure, and also better conditioning from the front than Derek Lansford, no doubt about that. Derek was really soft from the front, especially in the chest and shoulders, even quads, he wasn't this sharp, he definitely didn't have this kind of chest separation, his quads weren't this dry, and Samson, you guys know, he didn't really bring great conditioning, so Nick's conditioning in this guest posing is better than at least two guys in the top three at the Mr. Olympia, let's say Hadi brought it, I mean, Hadi was shredded from the front and really hard and really full, from behind, I would bet that Nick was sharper than Hadi on the Mr. Olympia stage, but I don't think this is an accident, I don't believe Nick just stayed in shape casually for five weeks and just did a guest posing without trying, and looked like this. He obviously stayed purposely very, very lean because he wanted to present his physique on this stage and he did a great job. I mean, look at the loads, look at the hamstrings and the side legs, side quads shredded, shredded. I mean, Nick was peeled at this guest posing. I'm sure he did a, a, a peak week, he did a dehydration protocol. I mean, because he's super dry, it's crazy. And also very big, very full, very round. This is a hell of a guest posing, man. And like I said, his legs are looking fine. And I listened to him on a podcast and he basically already started training them slowly. I don't think the injury was that bad. It was a partial tear in a hamstring. And I mean, look at this. Look at what he's doing. So he's able to do these kind of poses to kneel on one knee. He's almost doing a split. So yeah, he's fine. He's totally fine. Uh, it looks like he could do the Arnold Classic and do really well. But unfortunately, he's not going to. He seems uh, like he decided very firmly. So we don't get to see him over there. His goal, of course, is Mr. Olympia. And he spoke about the special invite as well. So basically, he says if they offer it, he would accept it. But if they are like he needs to qualify, he will qualify. His goal is Mr. Olympia and that's it. And uh, he believes... He will win, of course, and he believes he would have won the 2023 Mr. Olympia if he was on that stage, but uh, it didn't happen, hopefully next year everything is gonna run smoothly, we will see him on stage, because if he looks like this, 5 weeks post-Olympia, with the horrible injury that prevented him from walking, not only training legs, and he looks like this, 
That means that next year he is bringing something crazy, something insane. So guys, tell me what do you think about his legs, what they're looking right now and what his conditioning looks like on this gas posing right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.